when it comes to swimming in sand, you can't be too skinny or too smooth. That's the lesson that scientists at Georgia Tech and Harvard have learned from watching this shovel-nosed snake. They had done earlier studies of a lizard called a sandfish, and those studies suggested that long and thin was probably the best shape for this kind of movement. High-speed x-ray movies of the snake proved them right. But the reason is not what you might think. It's not just that the snake is streamlined. It turns out that the long, thin body of a snake with lots of vertebrae makes it much easier to achieve the complicated twists and turns that make this movement work. But the theory predicted that for the snake's movement to work, its skin had to be smoother than the lizard's to cut down on friction. Tests proved that prediction right, too. So why didn't the sandfish evolve to be longer and thinner? Well, it has other demands in life, like running on top of the sand. But the shovel-nosed snake spends more time under the surface of the sand. And that life has made it one slick, slender specialist.